everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So as many of you know, we have our own little gym right next door here. I'm not gonna be filming in there because it is so small, but if you wanna see a little gym tour, you can watch this video up here. I thought this would be a fun way to like take you through all of the equipment that I think is some of the best stuff that we have accumulated over the years, and as well as some really highly effective, efficient exercises that are gonna be full body that also strengthen your core. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through each piece of equipment. I'll give you one of my favorite exercises with it, and then I'll tell you why. So let's go. Mm, mm, mm. Zoe. Mm. Oh, and make sure you stick around to the very end of the video because I'm gonna be giving you a code to take a free virtual class with me. Okay, now let's go. So whenever anyone asks me, if I have to get one piece of equipment, what do you recommend I get? 10 pound dumbbells. So the exercise that I chose is the overhead squat. Let's break it down first and then I'm gonna tell you exactly why I like it. So we're starting in our normal squat position. Feet are about hip to shoulder width apart. Little turn out of the toes if you like. And we're gonna bring those arms straight above the head. So from here, you wanna close the rib cage and we're just gonna go down as low as we can control before we lose form and come back up. We'll do one more. All right, so. Let's talk about why I like it. Number one, this is gonna be just an excellent test of your core strength. So anytime you're bringing weight away from your center of gravity, it's gonna be a lot more work on your core to keep that rib cage closed. It's also an excellent test of your overhead shoulder mobility. Can you keep your arms up there, especially under added weight? And then honestly, it's just a really fun challenge. You know, a lot of us have been working out from home for a long time, and maybe we've only had 10 pound dumbbells. So doing squats with just the weights on the shoulder that's gonna get kind of old after a while. You need to progress it at some point. So by taking the weights, bringing them up above the head, you can continue to progress with the weights that you have at home. So with the adjustable dumbbells, I chose an RDL. So let's break it down first and then We'll talk about why. So bringing your feet again about hip to shoulder width apart, you're gonna bend the knees and send the hips back to pick up, keep that back nice and open, drive into the heels, pick it up. Okay, you only have to do that once. So from here, we're gonna hinge from the hips, keeping those weights nice and close to the legs like you're shaving them, and then we come back up. We just wanna make sure here that the back is staying as flat as possible and the shoulders are staying above the hips. All right, so. Let's talk about why I like these. Number one, I have an entire video about the importance of deadlifts or hip hinging right up here. So if you wanna watch that and learn a little bit more about why, you can totally jump in. This is obviously gonna be a great exercise for both your hamstring and glutes, but it's also a great core exercise. You know, if you cannot keep your rib cage closed, if you can't control your back arching as you bend over, you don't have a very strong core. And this is one of the best full body core exercises to help do that. With the adjustable dumbbells, it's so easy to progress. All you have to do is just add five more pounds. So it's just a very simple thing. Simple exercise, important exercise, easy to progress with the adjustable dumbbells. I chose a bent over Y. So let's break her down. We're gonna come into that hip hinge position again, sending the hips back, closing the rib cage, reaching the arms out into a Y, and we're bent over. So I really like this exercise because we are working the muscles of the back. Remember that your core is a lot more than just your abdominals. I say this a lot, but essentially, if you cut off your legs, your arms, and your head, pretty much everything that's remaining is your core. That's a really simplistic way of looking at it, but it does just kind of broaden your, your mindset of like what the core is. So the muscles on your back are super important because they're your posture muscles. I talked all about, I feel like I'm just gonna keep referencing videos. I talked about it in this video right up here, all about rowing. I also love this because again, we're getting in more of a hip hinge. A lot of exercise programs are very knee dominant, which number one can um, cause a lot of knee issues if we're only using the knees and not using the hips. And then B, that's gonna be very anterior your dominant for the most part. So this is a great way to get a little bit more of the posterior chain in our training. And it is an isometric hold. And a lot of people do not do isometrics anymore. And they are an excellent tool in just helping to build that overall core stability. Getting into the kettlebells. Oh God, please don't hurt me. I'm gonna go with a clean to a press with a twist. And we're gonna talk about why I'm choosing this crazy thing in just a second. We're gonna come down, bending the knees, send the hips back, keep the chest lifted. 
We're gonna zip up our coat, right? So we're pulling the weight up, flipping it onto the shoulder into that racked position. So pulling up, clean, we're gonna bend the knees to get our push press and twist, close in the rib cage, squeezing the glutes. Let's do that one more time. We're gonna clean it up, push, press, close the rib cage, and down. Whew. Okay, let's talk about why I like this. All right, there's a lot of reasons. Number one, the full body movement, like you will feel your core, especially you kept hearing me cue, close your rib cage. That's just you learning how to brace. And that's one of the best things you can do for your core, understanding bracing and utilizing it in full body movements. Remembering that the function of your core or one of the functions is to stabilize the spine. So if you can close the rib cage, brace, protect and stabilize the spine, you're doing a great job. Personally, I really also love this exercise because it's very complex. So we do complex movements every day where we're connecting lots of different things together. We don't just take a step, lunge, and then stop and reset. We lunge, we step to the other side, we bend down to pick something up, we turn to see a friend. Like we wanna connect all of these basic movement patterns together in our training so we understand how to safely do them in everyday life. And then just another small thing of why I chose to add the twist on the press is because we're just getting a rotation in there. So we just wanna make sure that we're getting a little Little bit of that in pretty much all our programming. All right, so exercise I chose for this is a bent over row. I'm not gonna do a huge breakdown of this because I just made that video about rowing, but let's just do like an alternating gorilla row. So we're gonna send the hips back nice and low, feet are nice and wide. We're gonna row the weight up, pulling the shoulder back and switch down and switch. So I've got this on 35 pounds right now. She's a beast. So this is a great exercise again because we're getting that hip hinge in there. We're working the muscles of the back. So very similar reason to the bent over Y, but we're loading it way, way heavier. And I love doing alternating movements really heavy with this because you get that break in between. So you do one side, you can go to the other and break. To progress it, maybe you do two on one side, then two on the other. Maybe you do three on one side, three on the other. So you can get re really, really creative because you've got that varying weight within the kettlebell. Okay, we're gonna do an alternating lateral lunge, holding this bad boy right in front. So starting with the feet together, we're gonna send the hips back as we step to the side, bring it back to the center. To the side, oh my God, everything just cracked, and center. You wanna advance it, just keep a little more space between the arms, or between the chest and the ball, and you're gonna recruit even more core and more of those biceps. It's really difficult for people to move in the frontal plane or like side to side. I find that so many people have trouble with lateral lunges and we gotta learn how to move side to side. We do it every single day. We're loading the weight in the front, which makes it a lot more work on the core. And you also are going to be working the back here too, cause we got that hip hinge action going in. So I just, I'm a huge fan of this exercise, especially with the soft medicine ball. So I wouldn't even necessarily say like this is my favorite exercise with this, but my trainer, she had me do this as one of my finishers one day and it was so, so much fun. So I kind of stole it from her, but this is her exercise. So we're gonna do a ball push and pull with a bear walk. So I'm gonna start at one side, coming into my bear position. So knees are hovering. I'm gonna take the ball, I'm gonna push it. Running after it, same arm. We're gonna pull it back under. Then we're gonna go back and do it with the left side. Take that ball, push it, walk it forward, bring it back under, and now we're back. Okay, so obviously we can see why it's gonna work your core. You're in that bear position, which is basically just like, ew, a bug! Yeah, I killed it. Oh, gross. So anyway, yeah, it's obviously gonna work your core because you're in a plank, right? I like this because it's gonna require a lot of coordination, but it's also just a lot of fun. Like this is just a fun exercise to kind of throw some things together. And I always say like, you wanna keep your workout simple with like a little sprinkle of fun on top. If you have something like this at home, definitely try it. Yoga blocks are super versatile. I'm sure that a lot of you have seen them before like in yoga classes to help you get supported if you can't get super far down in something. We're gonna use it today just as a tool to like work against your own resistance. So we're gonna do a single side dead bug. 
making our way onto the floor. We're taking the block and we're gonna place it into the right thigh, placing the side of your forearm right on into it. Other leg lifts up, upper body will be down. Uh, making sure that the low back is connected. Now, if you're having trouble connecting the low back, you can lift up the upper body. It's just gonna help you tuck that pelvis. From here, keeping pressure into the block on both sides, we're gonna let the left arm and left leg extend and come back up. We'll do one more like that, big exhale and inhale coming up. So if you are able to keep that abdominal pressure or keep that pressure on the block, you should feel abdominal pressure. I like, now I feel like I have bugs on me, but I think it's just hair. Ugh, that gross. So again, I kind of already explained why I really like that one. It just, it, it gives people that kind of place to put their energy, just focus it into the block. Um, and then, I'm, oh God, I feel like I'm crawling with bugs. I love using these for single leg RDLs. Shocking to no one. So let's break it down, then I'll tell you why. We're gonna take the band right underneath the left foot and then into the right hand. So we want that like contra lateral, whatever. Placing the leg behind you, we're gonna hinge at the hips, flex to the back heel, pointing that toe straight down to align the hips. And then we come back up. We'll take one more here, keeping that band as close to the leg as possible and up. All right, so why do I like these? Number one, it's a hip hinge action. It is unilateral training. So we're working one side of the body and then the other. So that's really just making sure that we're not using one hamstring or one glute or one leg more dominantly than the other. It's gonna work a lot of stability because we're on one leg. So great for the knees and ankles and the hips. And then we're gonna get a lot of coordination here as well. I like the band for this because I find that people have a little bit more control than using a dumbbell. It's just kind of, and, and it's also different than body weight. It kind of gives you that guide on the way down and up. So I really like the loop band here. Um, definitely try it if you haven't. I got to figure out how I'm going to do this in this room. We're going to do an anti-rotation lunge. 40 pound kettlebell. I feel like I'm just going to pull this right over. Yes, I am. Okay, so we're just gonna get like the basic idea. You're gonna pull the band away until you have some tension. And this should be higher up. We're just gonna pretend here. So keeping it in front of the chest, we're gonna step one leg back and you wanna step the leg back that's closest to the band and then forward. Back and forward. So what's happening here, I'm resisting that rotation, anti-rotation. You can also hold at the back, give some presses, up and down. Okay, that is just a disaster waiting to happen. So again, I just really love any type of anti-rotation exercise with the band. You can do this with squats, lunges, because it's training one of the vital functions of the core, which is to stabilize the spine or resist movement, AKA anti-rotation. Okay, that was actually like kind of exhausting. I hope that that was fun, enjoyable, informative, maybe just gave you a little bit more why, but also some ideas for some creative core exercises. If you wanna take class with me, for your first time for free, you can use the code YouTube and take any of my live virtual classes for free. If those times don't work for you and you want to like rent one of the on-demand classes, they do not take coupons, unfortunately, yet on my website, but you can just shoot me an email. I have my email link down below and I will send any of my workouts to you for free from that week. Any questions, leave me a comment in the question in the comments below and I'll, I'll see you, I'll see you soon. <laughs>